if you're raising your children in various languages, you're embarking on a wonderful and fulfilling journey. However, raising multilingual kids is no easy feat. And as parents, we're bound to make mistakes along the way. But don't worry, in this video, we've got you covered. We'll be discussing the top five most common parenting mistakes on raising multilingual children. So you can avoid them and ensure your children become confident and proficient in multiple languages. So sit back, relax, and get ready to get better at raising successful multilingual children. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Andrea and I'm passionate about sharing my knowledge and experience on raising multilingual children. I've got you covered with tons of valuable insights and particular advice. So hit the subscribe button and join our community of language loving parents. And don't forget to sign up for my mailing list to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content. Let's do this. Stick number one, my child will learn the language automatically. Let me break it to you. Raising bilingual or multilingual children is no cakewalk. It takes more than just speaking a language or living abroad to make your child fluent in multiple tongues. You can't just sit back and assume that your child would automatically become bilingual. It takes consistent effort, patience, and time. We're talking about at least a decade of effort here. As a matter of fact, just because your child goes to a school in, in a bilingual or multilingual environment, for example, it doesn't mean they will automatically become fluent in those languages. As a parent, it's up to you to actively encourage and support their language development and providing opportunities for practice and immersion in addition to what they do during class time. Studies indicate that cognitive advantages are only seen in multilingual children who develop their languages at a high level. If your child is, for example, proficient in one language but lacks fluency in others, they might not have any cognitive benefits or advantages over their multilingual peers. And watch out! To learn several languages at once without mastering any of them may even be detrimental to their overall development. So be very careful with that. Mistake number two, TV and other media will teach my children a language. Well, it is tempting to use TV and other media as a substitute for language learning. It's important to remember that children learn best through human interaction. TV and media may provide some exposure to the language, but they cannot replace the warmth, the emotions, and the eye contact that come from uh, interacting with real people. To ensure your child is effectively learning the language, set aside quality time each day to speak, read, and play in your target language. Engage in activities that are both educational, but also fun, such as singing songs and playing games and telling story. Not only will this help your child learn the languages faster, but it will also strengthen the bond between you and your child. Additionally, if possible, try to find other native speakers or families who speak that language to connect with you. This will provide your child with more opportunities to practice and reinforce what they've learned, as well as expose them to different accents and dialects. Remember, language learning is a journey that requires patience, dedication, and consistent effort. By making the effort to interact with your child in your target language, mostly in the first six years, um, of their lives, you are setting them up for a lifetime of benefits and opportunities. So uh, check out this course named What Resources to Use. You'll learn what the most efficient resources are and how to use them properly. Mistake number three, raising multilingual children is expensive. Have you ever thought that raising multilingual children would cost you a fortune? Well, not necessarily. You don't need to break the bank to help your child learn your target language. In fact, 
all it takes is time, a person, a few basic materials, multilingual parenting know-how, and a little bit of creativity. For example, you can use simple picture books, flashcards, or even objects around the house to teach your child new vocabulary. The books don't even need to be in multiple languages in the beginning. You can play games like Pictionary in your target language to encourage them to speak and interact with you. To make language learning enjoyable for both of you and your child, incorporate language learning into activities that you both enjoy. That's very important. Do you love cooking together? Try cooking a recipe in your target language and talk about the ingredients, the steps uh, in that language. Do you enjoy reading books together? Well then choose books in your target language and discuss the stories in that language. If you're a sports enthusiast or love spending time fishing, you can use your interest to help your child by incorporating vocabulary and conversation related to your hobbies. You create a fun and engaging way for your child to learn the language naturally. This is a win-win situation. You get to do what you love and your child gets to learn the language in an enjoyable way. The most important thing is to use material in a way that encourages conversation and interaction with you. Talk to your child in the target language, ask them questions and encourage them to ask questions too. Make it fun and engaging and your child will naturally want to learn more. That's how you motivate them, actually. Uh, remember, you don't need to spend a fortune on expensive material to pass on to your child the language or languages that you master. All you need is time with your child. That's a little bit the tough one, depending on how many languages you have at home. Now, if you want your child to learn an additional language that you don't master, then you'll need to outsource the task and find immersive schools, systems or um, learning programs. They don't have to be expensive, but they might be expensive. Mistake number four. I need to correct my child's mistakes. Multilingual parenting can be a challenging journey and one common mistake is being too quick to correct your child's every little mistake. Of course, it's essential to address significant errors, but knowing when to let some things just slide is equally crucial. It's important to strike a balance between guiding your child and being over critical which can affect their self-esteem and also their confidence. So um, it's important to keep in mind that correcting your child too often can have unintended consequences, such as uh, damaging your relationship with them. Constantly pointing out their mistakes may cause them to feel self-conscious and avoid sharing with you. Remember, the ultimate goal of language is to communicate effectively. And while proper grammar and formalities are important, they shouldn't overshadow the importance of connecting with others. Encouraging your children to communicate in their target language without fear of constant correction can foster a more positive and open relationship between you and your child, and that is pretty important. So let's strive for a healthy balance between correcting mistakes and allowing our children to express themselves freely. In doing so, you can build stronger relationships with them and help them thrive. Instead of focusing solely on mistakes, try to also recognize their accomplishments and positive behaviors and praise the good behavior because that is going to motivate your child to keep on making an effort. Remember, parenting is a marathon, not a sprint, and creating a nurturing and supportive environment is key to raising happy and healthy multilingual children. Mistake number five, I'm experiencing difficulties and I'll better give up. If you're raising multilingual children, consistency is crucial. Whether you've opted for one person, one language, 
or that strategy or decided to speak the minority language at home, sticking to your plan is vital. It may seem like an uphill battle at first, but with persistence and also patience, it'll become easier and you'll, you'll enjoy the benefits. If you're struggling to determine the best language learning methods to use or how to effectively combine them, then the course How to Choose the Right Languages and Method is the perfect resource for you. This comprehensive course is designed to provide you with all the information and guidance you need to make uh, informative decisions about your family's language learning journey. From selecting the right languages to choosing the most effective methods or combining or a combination of methods, you'll gain the knowledge um, and tools to set your children up for success. Don't let confusion or uncertainty hold you back from giving your children the gift of multilingualism. Enroll in the course today and empower yourself with the knowledge and strategies to make the right decisions for your family's language learning journey. Remember, learning several languages simultaneously is a complex process and children don't become fluent overnight. Encouraging them to practice regularly and being patient with their process is key to success. Don't give up. It may be challenging, but once you overcome the hardest part, and that's the beginning, you'll be proud of what you were able to accomplish. I'm sure of that. Think of it as a journey and one that will bring immense joy and cultural enrichment to your family. So stay committed to your languages and your strategies. Revise your goals and approaches if necessary. And I'm around if you need more help with that. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on five common multilingual parenting mistakes. Remember, raising bilingual children is a rewarding but also challenging journey. And it's essential to equip ourselves with the knowledge and tools to overcome any obstacles that come our way. If you're looking to learn more about how to prevent and overcome challenges in raising multilingual children, be sure to check out the course called How to Prevent and Overcome Challenges it comprises a collection of uh, concise videos that will provide you with practical tips and strategies to help you navigate the ups and downs of multilingual parenting. I hope you found today's video helpful and if you have any challenges or questions related to multilingual parenting, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button to support this channel and make sure to subscribe for more valuable content on multilingual parenting. Thanks again for watching and keep up the great work with your multilingual children. Talk to you soon.